So here we go, right? Three catalyzing instigated incidents which are geared towards warping opinions, manufacturing consent, and limiting freedoms. It's always the same thing because the first thing the media or government talking heads want to do is talk legislation. And you cannot legislate morality. You cannot create a law that makes somebody moral or makes somebody not think or feel the way they do. Okay, and even if some of these jokers had it their way and every American citizen, you know, no longer had a firearm, the criminals would be virtually the only ones armed. What good will that do us? And you've probably heard the expression before, when seconds count, cops are just minutes away. Okay, except in Ohio, where they just proved how important it is to have a good guy with a gun beat a bad guy with a gun. Okay, they neutralized the threat in less than 30 seconds and had more citizens been armed that they were being fired at, it probably wouldn't have evolved the way it did. Okay, that's going to say something. And since many of these shootings happen in gun-free zones or many of these shootings, these people are hopped up on drugs, maybe eliminating those should be the first legislative priority rather than trying to pine for something like, oh, I don't know, gun licenses, right? Just like with a, a license to drive or a passport to leave the country, it's government permission for something you have the right to do anyway, okay? Governments don't give you rights. Your rights are God-given, okay? And you shouldn't need government permission to leave your country or have access to mobility or to defend yourself with your weapon of choice, okay? These are God-given inalienable rights. The government doesn't give them to you. They protect, um, they protect them, all right? And people need to break free from the statism mentality that only laws backed by the threat of force will keep people in line. That's a defunct idea. The problem is when you have something like a shooting scenario, what's one of the first things people do? They call a guy with a gun that's minutes, if not tens of minutes away, to come and protect from a threat when only seconds matter. Then what? They, they just take your statement. Again, we need to learn how to not be better victims. We have to look how fast these officers in Ohio neutralized the threat. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Uh, there's more citizens than law enforcement. And again, if more of those thousands of people in Texas or Ohio were armed, the tragedy likely wouldn't have ended the way it did. OK, it's, it's just going to show you do not overlook that fact. In fact, let me outline a scenario. I live here in Arizona, so gun laws are more lax here. Right. And we've got a guy who comes into the shop uh, to print orders. He always has his pistol on his hip. So if somebody decided to walk into the store while this guy or others like him were carrying, who would be in a better position to neutralize the threat? An armed and trained officer minutes away or this armed and trained civilian ready to engage uh, the threat immediately? Right. The answer is obvious. We need to stop being victims. And if you noticed uh, with these th things that have cr uh, creeped up the, over the past few days, right, uh, they're trying to kill three birds with one stone on this. OK, of course, you've got the guns, but also regulation of the Internet and stoking racial tensions. I, I couldn't imagine something more divisive to be unfolding right now. So while we have certain thinking people flocking off of certain controlled platforms like YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, and they're going to, to others. OK, the establishment is going after that information now. They're trying to limit access to the other side of the argument to keep folks ignorant, because if you control the information, you get to control perspectives and opinions. And isn't this so convenient? This happened at, at the same time as that FBI document. It comes out. OK, I don't believe in major coincidences like that. If you go back and listen to many of my videos, myself and others said this was coming in virtually the same way it manifested. OK, we don't have a gun epidemic. We have an ignorance epidemic. OK, it was good guys with a gun who, who neutralized this threat in Ohio. And if more people were armed in the other places, it might not have happened the way it did. OK, and if we think that more laws or legislation is going to instill morality or deter criminals, you're being led down the primrose path. OK, they're combining race with gun control and, you know, all this other stuff and all in one package. Um, they're trying to they're, they're trying to coax us into something. I mean, isn't it interesting that people who normally aren't informed on any of this stuff anyway, um, this is all they can talk about. You know, I can't inform anybody on anything unless they are already inclined for the information. So these are folks who typically are just bebopping around and now suddenly they're all talking about the same thing. OK, this is this is mind control. This is uh, absolute mind control. It's crazy. And now we want them to dream up laws which are backed by the threat of force to enforce against people who aren't breaking these laws anyway. OK, what does a criminal care about a gun free zone? If you get rid of the guns, like I said, if we flesh out the scenario to its most extreme and, and these jokers have their way with, you know, no American citizen has a firearm, uh, no law abiding American citizen has a firearm. The only folks left with the, the firearms are, are the cops who are minutes away when seconds count and the criminal who's right in front of you, who's getting who has no problem getting access to the stuff anyway.
You see, we're, we're short-sighted, so we, we have to understand if the government's really cared about safety and stuff like that, uh, they, they would be going after the gun-free zones. They'd be going after pharmaceuticals. How many, you know, people do those kill? They'd be going after automobiles. If they cared about our safety, that's what they would be doing. They're going after guns because there's a nefarious agenda inlaid there. And I know a lot of people can't accept that, but, I mean, what else are they trying to do other than disarm the population so that they can really start to kickstart um, something against the folks? That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Anyway, California Carter, signing off.